right. Where there's smoke, there is fire. And it just seems to me that, I mean, I'm watching you on television. I'm a Philly guy as well, and I, I can relate to what you're saying. You're being, you seem like you're being as honest as you possibly can. But the NBA won't say anything, and it's just driving me nuts. Do you think you're getting, you know, a fair shake from the media, or do you think you're sort of being targeted? I mean, have you been very honest with us, and you're honest with you? Well, Tim, I appreciate the visit and the uh, and the candor, and I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, however this uh, turns out for you. I uh, hope you and your uh, family can figure out a way to either get together or stay together or make it uh, right for your kids because I know you have four children and it's got to be Thank tough. You very much. Tim Donaghy, the new book, Personal Foul, a first person account of the scandal that rocked the NBA. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you. Listen, um, you did the time, road to recovery, and uh, you had a really good life, and I genuinely feel bad that it's uh, that you flushed it away. I mean, you're a human. I wish you well, man. No sincerity. Good luck. Uh, I, I, I appreciate back. it. All right, Timmy, listen, uh, good luck to you, and uh, good luck with the book, and, and I hope uh, your life evolves to the point where you really uh, can be proud of it. Thanks very much for coming on. All right, I'll give you a call. Thanks, Mike. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you get it together. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you came in to tell me the story. It's a, it's a sad chapter. You, uh, you got Tim. I appreciate you taking time for being so open about what you went through and the choices that you made. The book is very, very interesting reading, and it does send a really good message. And I hope that the rest of your life is a lot better than the last few chapters that you wrote. Thanks, Cap. I got Tim Donaghy. Thank you very much for joining us here on the Huge Show Sunday Edition. Uh, wish you the best with your recovery, and hopefully you can put the pieces of your life back together. Slowly. I hope some at some point that you can, you know, get back with your family. Uh, everybody turns their life around. I've turned mine around about five times, Tim. So uh, get it, get it, <laughs> shorting yourself. Get it turned around, and uh, if, if selling this book will help, I'll help push this book for you. You know, you might find this odd, but I actually found your book very inspirational. And, a, and a, I hate to use the word a great read, and I, and I certainly don't mean to enjoy the, all the unhappiness you've brought upon yourself, but you see you know, someone who has totally hit the skids, totally, and at least it appears you, know, you, you came clean, and now you're trying to put the pieces back together. And I, and I know it's extraordinarily difficult, but you know, there is something that is refreshing about seeing someone trying to redeem himself and make it, make it work.